Number six. The skeletal remains of a 170 centimetre tall white male were found in Kinyichi Moor on the 30th of July 1970. He was between 50 and 70 years old, of a medium build and was wearing false teeth. He was discovered wearing a full length plastic raincoat, a wristlet watch, a green and black tweed jacket, a dark coloured long sleeve jumper, a brown tie with a green stripe, a striped shirt, a pair of green waterproof trousers, a pair of grey trousers worn under the green trousers, a fore and aft hat and a pair of brown shoes, a leather wallet containing three keys on a ring, a pocket knife, a spectacles case containing a pair of bifocal glasses which were made in Germany, an automatic pistol wrapped in a green plastic, a Ronson cigarette lighter, a cigarette packet, a haversack and an empty Pepsi Cola bottle were found on his person. It's believed he'd been dead for approximately one to two years. Number five. On the 26th of August 1971, the body of a white male was found in the Caledonian Canal at Inverness. He was aged between 45 and 55 years old, had a surgical scar on the left side of his abdomen and a peculiarity with his left leg. He was found wearing a green overcoat, a watch, a checked tweed sports jacket, a green sweater, a blue, brown and white shirt, a white vest, a white string vest, a pair of dark grey trousers, two pairs of underpants, a pair of blue socks and a pair of size 10 brown leather shoes. Number four. The body of a 178 centimetre tall white male was found in woodlands in Glen Nevis at Fort William on the 5th of April 1978. He was between 20 and 40 years old, of a thin build with shoulder length dark brown hair and had a full beard. He was discovered wearing a royal blue anorak with red and yellow stripes around the collar, a navy blue cardigan, a red tartan shirt, a pair of blue jeans and a pair of black boots. A small pair of scissors and a small travel clock were found on his person. He was discovered near the youth hostel and had been dead for several months. Number three. On the 19th of September 1978, the body of a 167 metre tall white male was recovered from the sea, 35 miles northwest of Muckleflugger. He was between 30 and 50 years old, of a medium build with facial stubble. He was found wearing a red nylon belt and braces, a red cagoule, a pair of wool and grey socks, a pair of tattered Lee blue jeans, a red sweater, green woolen trousers, a grey woolen sweater, a blue woolen sweater and a pair of grey thermal underpants. A pair of brown framed glasses and a leather glass case were found on his person. It is believed he had been in the water for three to four months. Number two. The body of a 170 centimetre tall white male was found in a white Renault car at Durness in Sutherland on the 29th of August 1982. He was between 25 and 40 years old, of a thin build with short red hair. He was discovered wearing a red sweater, a brown shirt, a pair of brown cords, a pair of blue socks, a brown jacket, a Timex watch and a pair of size 7 tan brown shoes. The cause of death was noted as being carbon monoxide poisoning and it is believed he had been dead for two to three weeks. On the 7th of May 1985, the skeletal remains of a 175 centimetre tall white male were found hanging in a forest. He was between 55 and 60 years old, of a thin build with light brown greying hair. He was discovered wearing a dark blue raincoat, a dark green woolen cardigan, a dark brown woolen cardigan with brown buttons, a pair of St Michael's dark brown cord trousers, a brown and red leather belt with a bronze buckle, a brown floral shirt, blue and orange patterned underpants, a pair of fawn coloured socks, a light brown balaclava and a pair of green and yellow adidas trainers. It is believed his death is thought to have occurred after 1979. If you have any information on any of these cases we've covered, then please visit missingpersons.police.gov.
dot uk forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash case hyphen search forward slash m2b64 thank you